Well, firstly, um, Leo, thank you so much for, for joining us. I'm delighted to have you with us on ESP. And I think you're, you know, one of the, the coolest Leos in football. I think only maybe Leo Messi might have a chance of really, <laughs> um, you know, competing with you there. But, you know, Vissel Kobe in the ESP Champions League, a pretty decent start to the tournament so far. How would you rate it as a whole? And, you know, just, you know, being in um, in the in a, a, a overseas country and playing like a tournament format, how has it been? Um, yeah, I mean, playing three games and with seven points in hand, I think we've done a decent job, but we still have one more game left. So we just have to focus on last game. So, you know, we can secure our position for the round of 16. Well, it's been, a, I guess, a, a, a tricky campaign or season for Vissokobi. Obviously, in the league, results not going your way. But, you know, in the AFC Champions League, you guys are showing that you can play, you know, pretty good football, decent performances. You know, what do you think has been, uh, I guess, the difference? Has it just been a bit of luck eluding you guys in the J-League at the moment? Um, I would say in the J-League, it's more difficult because um, um, a lot of the teams in Japan have... I would say I have more quality, uh, but and playing against the same team for 10, 11 years, I mean, they, they already know what type of soccer we want to play and it's difficult to win in those situations. And but playing in the Champions League, a lot of teams um don't really you know we don't play against each other often so um don't really know about us so i think that's what's making it easy leo has the has the centralized being centralized in you know with the team has it i guess helped um a bit because obviously with with being back in japan you know you guys um have your own home families to go to now you're just stuck with the same guys Every day, in a way, in a difficult situation, having not won a game uh, in uh, ten matches in the J League, has being just stuck with the same guys in a way also just help with the, I guess the team spirit or you know just bonding. Yes, I think um, bonding wise, um, you know, being each with each other for three weeks, you know, I mean, I think is it's helped the team to be organized. I mean, the atmosphere is good right now winning games, I think by winning games, you know, we brought back our confidence a little bit and we just need to continue, you know, winning, winning, winning. And I think, you know, we can start winning in the J League as well. It was there, is there a bit of pressure that comes with being a team that, you know, are so, I guess, famous now, as well as with, you know, all that star quality, um, obviously that comes with that level of expectation, but, you know, looking at the team, is that something that you guys want to thrive on rather than, you know, be, be weighed down by all that expectation and I guess that pressure of being a really big team? Uh, yes, definitely. Because, I mean, we're not just losing, we're losing with the quality players, you know, and I think the players understand that and that's where the pressure comes. And, but in football, we have to face those situations. And as I said, I mean, playing in a different country, playing in a different league right now, playing in Champions League and winning games, I think brought back our, is slowly bringing back our confidence again. You know, we want to talk a bit about you because we want, we really want to get to know you a bit better. Now you have, you've had, you've had a, I guess, pretty unique journey in your footballing career. You, you, you went to the United States to, I guess, kick things off. Um, you know, and that's quite unusual, I guess, for, uh, you know, a Japanese player who normally come up either through the youth teams or even the universities uh, in Japan. So, you know, how did you make that decision? What was the motivation behind it? And, you know, what was the whole experience um, going to the Carolina Railhawks? Um, what, was it, what was it like for you? Um, I mean, after I graduated university, um, I didn't have any offers in Japan. So that's where I started to look for trials overseas. And since I grew up in the States, I mean, I was really interested in playing in MLS and in NASL. And I just 
found the tryouts online and just signed up and just went for it. Was so, was it was it? Um, I guess did any? Do you feel anything of playing in the NASL? You know, I guess help you prepare for when you eventually did come back um, to the J League. I know this, the standards uh, in 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 the level may be different, but you know, was it? I guess being thrown into playing against you know bigger bodies and, and stuff like that. Did anything really help in your time in Carolina? Uh, yes, definitely because you know after I graduated my university and playing two years in the states definitely you know gave me confidence, you know, playing with, you know, stronger opponents. Um, mentally, physically, I think uh, playing in the States grew my game a lot. And that's where, and after two years, I kind of grew my confidence. So that's where I thought that I wanted to take another shot in the J League. Lee, obviously, you know, from, from there to, to coming back to, the J League, and you know, you did mention about you know not getting any offers initially. You know, it, it, it has been a probably a tough road for you, especially early on. But now you are playing for one of the biggest teams uh, in all of Asia, playing the Asian uh, AFC Champions League. Has your journey been a bit more rewarding than I guess most others, just because of, I guess you know that 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 the the risk you took, or you know the, the how much you had to grind to really get your career. Has it has it? Do you find it having been more rewarding in a way you would you wouldn't have it any other way? I mean, yeah, playing in the States, you know, I mean, I was able to speak uh, the language, so I didn't suffer a lot, but still, you know, playing in another country where you don't have friends was a little bit tough. And that's where, you know, my mentality grew. So whenever, when I come back to Japan, I think it's been six, seven years since I've been playing in the J League, but when I face other situations, tough situations, I, I just think that, you know, the toughest situation for me was playing in the NASL, you know? So I think playing my first two years in the States is just everything for me right now. Now you've gone from that to got me to the J League to, like I said, you know, playing for one of the biggest clubs in Japan is, is it for you is it ever a moment where you you pinch yourself and go like wow I've actually you know really worked hard and and you know achieved something in my career or you know were you always confident and you knew you had a belief that you would get here one day uh yes I was confident that maybe one day I would be able to play in this kind of team but on the other hand I just felt that I needed to work more and more and more so half and half, I guess. Tell us a bit about, you know, this star-studded Visco Kobe. So obviously everyone plays their role and we've seen that, you know, from, from every player, but, you know, obviously there's that whole Andres Iniesta factor. Um, you know, from the, from the NASL, you've gone to actually being a teammate and, you know, playing alongside him. And, you know, not just him, we've seen Visco Kobe have a lot of really, really, you know, big name um, signings come over the years. Um, what's it like? I guess I think a lot of fans would just be very curious as to playing alongside, you know, either Andres or, you know, all these players that, you know, we usually watch uh, on the television and now they're your teammates. No, oh, I mean, yes, uh, Bojan, I mean, all those experienced players, including the Japan International. Uh, but I think they give a positive reaction to the team on and off the field. I mean, you know, a lot of the young players look up to them. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's not an individual sport. So, you know, we got to keep focusing on being organized as a team. And I think that's where we're at right now. Now you mentioned those Japanese internationals, and I was just going to talk, talk a bit about that because you see the squad that's being assembled, you know. You already have, you know, Hotaro Yamaguchi, you know, Yuya Osaka has come in, Yoshinori Muto has come in as well. And for a player like you, you know, with ambition at a club that has ambition too, how exciting is it? Uh, I know results haven't exactly gone the way you want it to be in the league at least, but, you know, how exciting is it just seeing the project you're being involved in and, you know, looking to the future? Yeah, I mean, being involved in this project, you know, I'm blessed, you know, for this opportunity. And playing with those kind of players um, definitely will step my game up again. But as I said, I mean... It's a team sport, you know, looking at the results, we haven't been winning one game in 10 games. So, I mean, I think that's the part where we have to focus on and we just need to, you know, grow as a team, I think, right now. 
Yeah, you know, mentioning that, and obviously, I know you know you guys won't be just taught to just you know say you know what we are we are, we we really can't climb higher in the J League. Obviously, the target is to do that, but in a way, is the AFC Champions League also now I guess you know a really good chance at achieving success. You know, I'm not saying focusing all on the AFC Champions League, but are you guys now looking at the AFC Champions League going? Yeah, you know what we this could be the tournament that gives us I guess success or silverware this year. Yeah, so yeah, I agree. Um, I think so far we're we're doing great. Um, we need to focus on the next game, but if we win the game, we're on to this round sixteen, and um, our team goal is to win the Champions League. So, well, with this squad, with the quality, I think uh, we have a good chance to win the title. Yeah, obviously, you know, um, you are at a stage of your career where you still have, you know, hopefully many more years to go. Is there anything that you as Leo Saki, the footballer, you know, is there anything you still want to achieve? I know you've done um, a lot now. We've, we've talked about how your, your whole journey, but is there anything you still want to achieve, be it, you know, playing overseas or again, or, you know, <clears throat> just more silverware? What's, what's, what do you hope to achieve in the next few years? Yes, um, I am always interested in playing abroad. Uh, especially because I can speak English, I think I would be able to establish myself a lot more faster than, you know, other players that can't speak the language. But for me right now is to focus on my team, you know, to win as much as titles as we can. And I think the opportunities will come after that. There's just one last question for me. We enjoyed seeing you get on the score sheet um, the other day. Are you quietly hoping that sometimes you get to to push forward more and you know find the back of the net um in the next few games yeah it was, it's been a while you know since i scored my last goal i think and yeah definitely you know the feeling is great and whether i play defend uh, center midfielder or center defender i would always want to score a goal so i'll be looking for my opportunity again Leo Saki, thank you so much for your time and I wish you the best and, uh, you know, you and Bissell Kobe the best for the rest of the, the campaign and the year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.